Hello guys, Luke RG and today I've got an unboxing of a Proud Mount and you know when it's unboxing? Because I've got my Stanley knife to open the box and of course I chipped this from Amazon but as you see the box looks a lot smaller than I was expecting but I suppose it's got adjustable legs but I'll show you what I mean for the beginning of the unboxing but I'm going to get it out of the box though so no one sees the shipping of the Amazon box but, I, but I'll show you where we are from then. As I've opened the box and throwed it away my address so let's get opening up this as you see this there isn't a lot in here except some packaging and here is the mount it looks very very different than it than expected but I suppose uh, let's crack into this thing I suppose it definitely looks a lot different but I suppose it's a build-up thing I think so um, let's get into this thing now so the bounce, I'm going to use a pod, the uh, box as a pod mount sort of thing at the moment when I um, get my pod, my pod mount out of this bag. If I can get it out of this bag, good. Uh, yeah, here we go. There we go. Ah, it's in the back. Oh, it must be a build-up one. Cool. And here's the iPad mount. Will support the iPad. Looks cool. It's meant to be adjustable, so you can make it bigger and more as you want. And it says it's for the iPad too. So uh, lovely, doubly. Um, so just pull this bubble wrap away, and then open this bag. It's a very nice bag actually. It'll be good for carrying around if I ever have to carry this pod mount around. And this costs fifteen pounds on Amazon. If I, as I always say, I'll put a link in the description uh, if I possibly can. It be the first time I'll do this, but here is the pod now. It looks um, pretty cool. Um, it looks really um, retro, retro stand. Oh, <laughs> as you see, the stand is pretty small, so this will be great. Hold on, if I pick this up. As you see, um, it'll be great for unboxing videos because it's just the right height to do that sort of thing. So this is good. Um, the iPad move onto the onto the put that to the side and have a look at the iPad mount. Uh, if we just get this out of the wrapping tape, if you excuse me for a second, I'll quickly get that out. Just be careful the arms. And as you see here it is, it just clamps on nice and simple. If I did that, it just fits on, but I will take a photo and put it into the description if I can. And I'll put it in another video quickly using my iPod as the display. But anyway, um, I'll fit this up together. So if you heard some set, I'll show you how it looks like after when the iPad mounts on. So hold on a second, Guys, here we are with the full um, um, height of it. And this is how it is. Um, Basically, um, it has um, a little um, unlock thing at the bottom there, and you can um, lift it up here if I start it off. As you see, um, it'll um, clamp on there. I will do a more detailed video of it um, soon. Um, but as you see, though, it's a very nice and um, neat um, unit. And then when you just, whatever height your um, tablet, if I just do it, um, uh, hold on a sec, if um, whatever I type you do, let's say your iPad was this tall, uh, you can adjust it and then when you undo the back it just drops down and that's how it locks into place and stuff like that. But that's a good quality tripod and because it's got adjustable legs um, it can be holding, it's a, it doesn't really hold itself up so you want to that angle it just drops. So it's good if we're standing up, but when you want to do that, though, you want to, you basically got to hold or get some tie or something to hold it like that. But it's good for standing up, though. But for the price, so if you want to get a very good quality mount, you can buy, just buy this iPad mount and buy its own. That's great. But the mount, though, if you wanted to keep it at that angle, though, it will drop. It will have to be like that. And if you want to place it in the sky, it'll have to be like that. So it has got some limited... Thing, but of uh, 15 pounds though it's not a bad price to pay for a mount like this but um if you are a very big youtuber that you know has some things i recommend you maybe look something out 
um, a qual more quality pod mount than this, but for the stand though, the Quimpsy um, Hose the iPad in place to the pod mount um, thingy, I definitely recommend that. But um, if you want to start a YouTube, I recommend this entire unit from by made by China and also uh, the buyer is actually called by China so just put um, iPad tripod or tripod iPad thingy yeah if you just put tripod iPad Air 2 or whatever model yours is this one supports every iPad it supports from the one to the um, latest iPad 2 but the time you may watch this video it may be the iPad Air 4 or 12 you never know so It'll pair fell on, but that's the seller, and if it's still available the time you look at it. But this pod mount here, I'm really impressed with it, and in all cases, I'm going to get my dad's um, old Nexus 7 that used to be mine, and I'll show you how this sort of crimps up and how it looks like with the cam camera. But sadly, my own Nexus 7 doesn't have a crimp camera, but I'll demonstrate how it sort of sits into the mounts and stuff if it fits in, but... I don't think it will, but um, I'll see and I'll show you how to do how it. how you mount the pod, the um, pod mount, um, how you um, um, put the tablet up or iPad. Uh, as you see, this one doesn't have a camera. This is my first time at a selfie camera, but um, this does the test to show you how you put it in. Uh, basically, it's got a knob on the back. You pull it up, then you lift this up, you place the tablet in place, then you bring it down and it clamps in place place with the tablet and because this is a light tablet this is actually a better one from the iPad than anything else but as you see you can adjust it you can move it around print it the direction you want to if you unscrew the little um the yeah, little screw under here uh you can uh, move it around but and this is in the lock position so then it, there's no way of um you can turn it you can turn it a small sort of angle but it pretty much locks into place if you screw it up fully but if you're doing a face up, or if you're doing unboxing, you might want to have some sort of band or something holding it in place only if you want it like that. But it is up to you, but you'll have it lower, so they probably won't, there probably won't be a difference. But for the price, though, um, of this tripod, it's not bad at all. But as you see, how, how I unbox it is they have this thing here, and you um, lift the top up, and you release the tablet, and when you finish, you lock that up, and then it locks that into place. And that's how you crimp it up, but overall, I am very impressed with this product. So um, I give it a thumbs up, and I will do a review if you find this. It will probably be some name, but um, I'll put please follow me for the unboxing video and crap like that. But anyway, overall, um, it is a very good pod mount for me. So as anyway, guys, please comment, subscribe. And look out for better steady unboxing videos and other videos and stuff like that. So, um, see you in the next video. And please come and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, one thing, Dan. I'm sorry about your dad deleting. Um, if you follow Dan Bold, um, I will keep you updated. Just to, if, you're some of the, if you're one of the subscribers that you joined Dan and then you looked at me. Um, the reason of this is his dad... Um, sort of accidentally deleted his account even when he, when even when Daniel said you can just delete the videos off um, he deleted the entire um, Google account so um, I will when he tells me what his channel is um, I'll tell you the um, you know thingy I'll tell you the yeah pretty much I messed that up but I'll tell I'll tell you the um, if you follow Dan Bird I'll tell you his new new channel name and his new account and mostly some of the videos that he's already did is going to be back on there he's just changing it around and because of his dad's mistake um yeah, that's where we're at and if you're a subscriber um Dan Bode, I cannot um delete can't unsubscribe to because it's cancelled yet so it'll always be in your subscriber page only if you want to delete your account and redo that again but um anyway that's that so um, as always guys, please come and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!